we got married there just in July, and I got my wings in September. Mm. The pilot. You come back to Wyoming to get married, or you get married down in La Hunter, or yeah. Got married in Pueblo. In Pueblo. Okay. At her aunt and uncle's house, my folks came down, and uh, her folks didn't come. They couldn't come down, but their aunt and uncle was there. We got married there. So you were only uh, married a couple months before you, you shipped off then? Mm. Yeah, well, yeah. No, married in July of 44, and I didn't ship out until April 45. Oh, okay. All right. And and she, did she stay down in uh, Colorado with you there? Or? Yeah, because she was pregnant. Oh, wow. <laughs> so she stayed there. Uh -huh. She could go home, but she uh, decided to stay as long, because they knew I was going overseas. I was oh. scheduled for oh, it okay. already. I already had orders that I was going overseas and where I was going, not to tell you where you were going. Yeah, right, they right. They weren't sure whether it was Pacific or European mm -hmm. theater, mm -hmm. but she knew I was, was headed there. So she stayed there and the baby was born in May. I was in New Guinea at that time and I didn't know about the baby being born for probably two months. Wow. After oh. that. And then how when the war was over, right? I was in Japan and flew up there and they said, uh, if you want to stay a while, we'll give you a captain's rating in about six months. You can be a, go up and rank. I said, no, I don't want to be a captain. I wanted to get home and see my daughter, which I hadn't seen yet at all. I go and see her. Oh, so, <laughs> we did. How, how, how long all together before you actually how old was your daughter, I guess, before you finally saw she her? She was nine months. Nine months? Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, she was nine months. I didn't, well, I didn't, well, the question they're asking in the paper was how long after the war did I go? It was five, five and a half months. I was still in Japan before I... So you guys went up as part of the occupation force yeah, then? Yeah, before we got to go home. Mm. And then when did you uh, finally, uh, after they gave you the offer of a captain, turned it down, when then when did you finally... We start uh, journey back home then. How? Early in February. February. Yeah. yeah. And uh, well, back. what was that homecoming like? Uh, well, senior? Nancy met me. I came into, I guess, it was San Francisco. That's where we came in. And then we probably took a train to Cheyenne, or somehow we got through Utah and then to Cheyenne. And Nancy met me at Cheyenne. She didn't have a baby with her, she left the baby home. So I'd get to see it for another <laughs> two or three days. <laughs> we have a very cute picture in my uh, book here. I was holding Janet, daughter's name was Janet, I was holding Janet, but she had her arms around her mother. Oh, had no idea who she you were. No yeah. business for him, <laughs> who's this guy? I don't know anything to do with him. <laughs> so she had, but it's got a rather cute picture. So yeah, I was yeah. older, but she was all stretched out with her arms around her mouth. <laughs> she wrote and wrote that and said, she knows who she loves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it must have been a great feeling to be back home. Oh, and it with was. Them. Yeah. 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 It was.